Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is MJ and you're at my channel called Reading This Life. And in today's video, we are going to do the tea of the day for Vlogmas Day 22. And I'm gonna be introducing you to um, my ebook reader, which is a Kobo Libra H2O. So stay tuned, let's get to that tea. Today's tea of the day is perfect because it's at the perfect time. I took a peek this morning and I believe Haha. <laughs> it is the puka after dinner tea. A delicious balance of sweet fennel, roast chicory, and cardamom. That sounds interesting. This is a time of year for special herbs to help feasting blues disappear. Okay, so I don't know if I'm in a feasting blues type of mode. So definitely it's after dinner and um, I wasn't in a feasting mode, but we'll see. So let's let that steep. In yesterday's video, I hinted that I was going to um, review my Cobra, Cobra, my Cobra Kai, Cobo Libra with you, which is my e-reader, and it's right here. Say hello, hello. Uh, so after the tea, uh, we're going to go over to my desk, and I'm gonna, just going to give you a quick overview of it. I love this little thing. Um, never thought I would, but I really, really do. Um, I love getting my library books on it, which is mainly what I do. Um, I'm also going to give you a tip if you're interested in um, signing up for a library that's out of your state that accepts out of state uh, memberships. Um, it's fantastic and I highly recommend it. So I'll be including that over at the desk as well. So let's check on that tea. Okay, so here's the tea. It's got a very light, mm, I'd say like coffee color almost to it. has a sweet aroma to it. Let's read the ingredients. Did I read the ingredients? No, I don't think I did, did I? All right, so let's read the ingredients. We've got 24% roasted chicory root, anise seed, sweet fennel seed, 20%, licorice root, cardamom pod, 8%, orange peel and ginger root. Okay, so it's deep up to 15 minutes. So let's see what it tastes like. Definitely taste the cardamom and the licorice. The roasted chicory is familiar. I think I used to drink when I was in um, New Orleans, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, do they roast their coffee at the Cafe du Monde with um, chicory? I think they might, I'm not sure though. Mm -hmm. It's almost like, um, If I wasn't going to have a coffee, I would have something like this. And I'm sure the chicory root helps with digestion, um, along with the licorice root and maybe the sweet fennel. Mm -hmm. It's nice. It, it's perfect for after dinner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I say it's a good compliment. Um, it's not something that I would gravitate to if I just wanted to snuggle in and read a book. Um, it would be a mindful thing to choose this tea for having after a larger type meal. It's not like cuddling up with a chamomile or something like that. But yeah. Definitely tastes better than yesterday's. Yesterday's was meh. Okay. All right. So I'll give it a thumbs up as long as it's after... A larger type meal. I wouldn't go to this just by itself. But I could be wrong. Let me know. Is this a tea that you would go to? Okay guys, so that is the tea for Vlogmas Day 22. I'm gonna give it a thumbs up based on the taste, the flavor, the structure. Um, it, it's, a, it's a heavier type tea if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. But no, it's, per it's perfect for after dinner. All right, so Let's get over to my desk. I'm gonna take my drink with me and let's take a look at my Kobo. Okay, everybody, welcome back. Here is my Rakuten Kobo. Rakuten is a Japanese company. Um, they purchased some 
pretty big businesses um, online in the past, such as buy.com and also Ebates. Um, and it looks as if they are managing Kobo. Um, so this is an, an origami case. Oops. And as you can see, it's foldable, moldable. You can prop your book up like that. Book, your device. You can prop your device up like that. You can prop your device up like that upside down like basically it's it's very convenient for propping up to read so that is the origami case the case also has an automatic um, sleep mode when the cover closes um, it automatically um, the ebook uh, the e-reader goes to sleep which is a nice feature um, and then within a certain time period if you open the um, case back up. Um, the dialogue will be there. Um, if you leave the cover shut for a certain period of time, it will power down. So this particular one has powered down and it's actually, it's actually upside down. So I'm going to get this straight. We're going to turn it on. Okay. So here we go little free advertising here so it is the way it's supposed to be and if I close it it's gonna go to sleep and then it's gonna wake up really fast so uh, when you open this particular e-reader it gives you um, your books that you have um, opened um, books that you have waiting for you uh, books that are recommended for you by uh, Rakuten as well as um, books that you can borrow from your public library and holds from your public library. So this is why I use the Kobo more than any other um, particular e-reader, um, simply because of the fact that I can get into my libraries from this device. So if we go under my books, again, it just has how many days you have left, um, the percentage read, how much space it takes up on your device. There's a discover browse uh, button. And this is all through Overdrive. So these are recommendations from uh, books available through the library, which is really awesome. Um, they have them listed by um, categories of interest, mysteries with a side of laughter, sweet holiday treats, aging gracefully. I don't know why they put that one in there for me. Um, alternative histories. So um, recently on NPR, all kinds of good stuff. So if we hit the more button, you'll see that there's a wish list, my articles, activity, I think the activity. Yeah, it tells you um, the progress on the book, um, the current chapter, how many hours of reading you spent, the average um, minutes per session, average pages per minute, um, you know, how many books finished, total hours of reading, etc., etc. Awards, I'm not sure what that is. Oh, okay. I guess there's different awards for different categories. That might be something new. I don't remember that. And then this is new too. There's a build your own vocabulary list. Um, one of the cool features of this, and I'm sure there is with Kindle as well, but there is a vocabulary um, database. So let's just say we go for holiday. If you just press your finger on it, it will highlight, it will bring up the definition, um, give some additional information. You can add a note to it and you can search it, but you can highlight it as well, which is a nice feature. Um, so this is basically what it looks like. You can page forward or back just by touching the screen, or you can use the up down buttons here. Same thing. Now, the feature that I absolutely cannot stand about the Kobo, wait for it, <laughs> they dog, <laughs> they dog your pages, they dog your pages, that goes through me like a knife. I really just don't understand why they would do that, but it is kind of funny because it's not a real page, but it still triggers me, um, but I wish it was a bookmark or, or, or something else, just not dog earing a page. So that's that. Um, what else? Let me go back home and I will just show you. Go back. Okay, so under more, 
under settings, um, they have a, an option here for OverDrive. So OverDrive is the utility that a lot of libraries use. Um, my state has um, a library that has um, really great access um, to books, but also um, I have a library membership for an out of state library, which is um, the Brooklyn Public Library. The Brooklyn Public Library um, is available to any person within the continental United States. I don't know about um, its territories or international, um, but it is a $50 membership a year and you have access to all of their ebooks, audiobooks, articles, and magazines. Um, and the proceeds go right back into the library, which is awesome. So you would um, simply just click on that enter your library card number, your password, and then it will sync your Kobo to the library. So you can browse the library through your Kobo, which is really good. Um, this is a Cobra Libra H2O, and it is um, waterproof to a certain level. Um, so yeah, so basically that is, that is where we are with the Kobo. I love it. Not going to change it. I use this primarily for um, library books only. I haven't purchased any books on here. I've had it for a year. It's held up well. The case has taken a licking and it's just, you know, it, it's like it's brand new. Yeah. So this is my recommendation. Um, I am not a Kindle person. Um, and I'll explain that why in a little bit, but yeah, so that's my Kobo. Enjoy. Hope you enjoyed it. Okay guys, so that's it for this video. Remember to comment down below. Let me know.